Directors off the job over an explicit video sent to dozens of students from her phone. And as Carmen Blackwell discovered, sending something you want to keep private can happen faster than you think. Earlier this month, a Ginn Academy student went to administration reporting inappropriate videos that were airdropped to about 200 other students at the school with iPhones. Those four to five sexually explicit videos were sent out on February 7th by a teacher on staff. Cleveland police released the police report, which says the explicit videos of the teacher and her boyfriend circulated around the school for days, while the teacher claims she was unaware and says she allegedly has no idea how the videos were shared from her personal cell phone with students. But how could hundreds of students receive those videos if it wasn't the teacher who sent them? Is it possible it could have been a mistake? 3 News calls on cybersecurity experts to weigh in. So if somebody were to have access to the unattended phone, um, you know, it, it's fairly easy to capture someone's passcode. If somebody is, has bad intentions, the first thing they'll do when they get access to your phone is look at your pictures, you know, look to see if you have a private folder and, and see what's in there, um, or, or look at text messages and look at the pictures there and, and try to find something um, you know, inappropriate. We reached out to the Cleveland Teachers Union who responded with this statement, saying in part, quote, our collective bargaining agreement with the district provides for a process that protects our members, the district, and students when accusations are made involving members. We will work with our member and the district through this process. We also reached out to Cleveland Metro School District, who declined to comment. However, a spokesperson for CMSD did confirm the teacher has been removed from Ginn Academy as of February 15th and is no longer working with students pending an ongoing sex crime investigation. Well, when I asked cybersecurity experts if this could have been avoided, they said absolutely, and it's very simple. If you're an iPhone user and want more control over what you receive, just go into your airdrop settings and switch it over to contacts only. And to better protect your device from being hacked, the key to stronger security is a powerful password, face ID, or keeping your phone with you at all times. Laura? Really good tips that we might not think about, but are so important apparently. Carmen, thanks.